Uh, this lab has been uh, established for about 60 years. Behind these doors, in the basement of the engineering building, oh, I like the MSU. is a room full of electronics, robotics, and a huge tank of water. It's a large water tank. It's about 15 feet long. Uh, 10 feet wide and about 4 feet high. This is where you come to see your electronics take a swim. All right. We do research on a number of things uh, from control systems to smart materials and to robotics. And uh, one strong active program is on robotic fish. Robofish? Really? This is a facility that we use for studying the design and performance of robotic fish. And I guess we can put that in water. So robotic fish, that sounds interesting. But there is much more behind this than just wires, circuits, and motors. Can we take these things down to real applications? Meaning, uh, can you use these robots that are behaving like fish in some sense to scout out the environment, for example, and collect information and do such things through collaboration. We do uh, experiments on how, you know, the speed of it and how it turns, and we want to put sensors on it, so eventually we could deploy it in lakes. We are starting to explore things like environment monitoring. We're going to put this, uh, kind of hold this fish in the river uh, and take a picture of it. <laughs> that feels like perfect weight, about like a real fish. One idea is about their application. Uh, is to mount different sensors potentially on these things. Let them patrol the water environment. That way you can get uh, information like oxygen level, I mean dissolved oxygen level, temperature, uh, salinity, and even turbidity and all kinds of environmental factors. So what could a school of robofish accomplish by swimming around in your local lake or stream? You can uh, monitor the drinking water supply, supply make sure you know, nothing is suspicious or in the water. So uh, really you can talk a lot of potential applications in environmental science, in uh, public uh, safety, or even in uh, defense. These robotic fish fitted with sensors could swim around a pond or river and monitor the water quality. Some of the other applications involve monitoring oxygen levels at fish farms and even surveillance of our seaports. Is there anything that these fish can't do? Our fish aren't uh, submersible fish right now. They just swim on the surface. Uh -huh. And in this particular fish, the top is removable, so it's not permanently sealed. So once water gets in it, it'll just fry the circuitry. But Shabo and his team are working on that. They're in development of a robotic fish that can submerge, loaded up with sensors that will keep us safe. Let's just hope they don't become self-aware and take over the world. Every science fiction movie that I've ever seen, that's when, that's when the robots take over the world. Right. I'm concerned about that at all. Well, not at this point. <laughs> not at this point.